Okay. Good evening. This is the March 22nd, 2018 meeting of the Monroe Planning and Zoning Commission. It is now 7.02 p.m. We're in the Town Council Chambers. And will everyone please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And will the commission please introduce themselves starting on my right? Ryan Condon, alternate. Kenneth Wilk, alternate. Jonathan Formichella, alternate. William Porter, chairman. Michael Riley, vice chairman. Will the rest planner? Rebecca Wood, coordinating secretary. Okay, organizational items. Michael. Uh, making a move to amend the agenda to add call for executive session regarding pending legislation. Okay, so we're uh, amending the agenda to include an executive session. Um, any questions or comments at this time? No. Do we have a second? Second. All right. Call the roll. Aye. Aye. Former Kelly, yes. Porter, yes. O'Reilly, yes. Okay, so we are amending the agenda. We are adding item 3A as an executive session. Michael. Move to enter into executive session to discuss pending lit lit litigation with special counsel. We have a motion, we have a second? Second. Okay, discussion. Um, we'll go into executive session to, we would invite uh, attorney Min Marino uh, First Selectman Ken Kellogg and Planning Administrator Willard Rested to join us for a special uh, executive session. Um, all in favor? Condon, yes. Wilk, yes. Uh, 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 Porter, yes. Any, any opposed? Okay. Um, it is now 7.05. We are going to enter into executive session, so I ask everyone to wait out in the lobby. Uh, we'll probably only be... 15 minutes or so, and we'll readjourn the regular meeting. So we're good? Yeah. Okay. 7.40 p.m. Michael? Move to reconvene the regular meeting. We have a motion to reconvene the regular meeting. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Um, for the record, can you for the record uh, Commissioner Maini joined us at 7.15. And for the record, we held an executive session for informational purposes and no decisions or votes were taken. All right, next up, uh, item number four, general public participation. Is there anyone who would like to address the commission on anything not related to a public hearing? Seeing none, we'll move on. General appointments, we have none. Public hearings, there's one that is adjourned until April 5th. Um, site plan review, item number seven, we have none. Item number eight, time extensions. <clears throat> SDP 2017-03, file number 123, 233, 235, Monroe Turnpike. Request for a 60-day extension. We have a letter from Mr. Soley. Uh, applicant respectfully requests an extension of an additional 60 days for the above reference matter to provide additional time for satisfying the conditions of approval. Current expiration date for plan signatures and filing of copies is March 20th, 2018. Mr. Chairman, I'm not a Bruno's here. I'm going to be seated so you can seat uh, Jonathan and Ken for these votes. All right, Jonathan and Ken, you're seated. Is there anything uh, specific about this, Will? Um, I asked him, and I forgot what he told me. Um, I th they're, they're pretty much done. I think they had to get one thing together before they get, can give it to us. Okay. Nothing really. All right, so request for a 60-day extension. Chair will entertain a motion. I move to grant the 60-day time extension to SDP 2017-03. Do we have a second? Second. Who was that? Jonathan? 
Uh, we have a motion. We have a second. Any further discussion? Call the roll. Starting with Ken. Wilk, yes. Foreman Kelly, yes. Maine, yes. Porter, yes. O'Reilly, yes. Next up, item number nine, bond releases or reductions. SCP 2016-01, file number 15708, 35 Cambridge Drive, Mondale, request for bond release. We have a letter requesting the release. We have a bond release report from the town engineer. Um, all work has been completed in compliance with the approval. Uh, and the engineer is recommending the release of the bond. We have a motion? Move to release the bond on SCP 2016-01, 35 Cambridge Drive. Do we have a second? I second. Any, any discussion? Call the roll. Wilk, yes. Former Kelly, yes. Maini, yes. Porter, yes. Yeah. Yes. Next up, 12-5-SEP, file number 1509A, 57 Pepper Street, request for bond reduction. There's a letter in our packet that um, there's a total of a $70,000 bond that was placed in two separate bonds, a $66,000 and a $4,000. Um, the majority of the work has been completed. Well, except the landscaping. The paving and the curbing has been completed. Uh, the town engineer reports that there's still a punch list of 10 items on the $66,000 bond, and he is recommending that the bond be reduced to $35,000. And there is a separate report related to the $4,000 bond, stating that all of the work covered by that bond has been completed, and he is recommending a full release of the $4,000 bond. We have a motion. Move to uh, reduce the first bond and uh, um, release the second bond of 12-5 SCP file number 15. 09A57 Pepper Street. Okay. We have a second. Second. All right. Any discussion? Any questions? No. Seeing none, call the roll. Wilk, yes. Foreman Kelly, yes. Lane, yes. Porter, yes. O'Reilly, yes. Next up, item number 10, permit amendment modifications, 27-86-S-A2, file number 1071A, 270 Main Street, no animal hospital. Do we have to read the exhibits for this one? Uh, I will. Um, number one, permit amendment modification application, number two, fire marshal comments. Exhibit 3, building official comments. Exhibit 4, police chief comments. Exhibit 5, town engineer comments. And Exhibit 6 is the uh, planner comments. We have somebody here for the applicant. Good evening. John Gaynor from Gaynor Builders. Uh, just responding to a letter I received from you guys for the ap application review team on March 13th. Looking for Survey certification, which I filed with the town zoning officer. Construction details should be provided for the concrete brake pad, base pad, which I reviewed with Mr. Gresta this morning. Decorative solid board fence is suggested, typical stockade fence, which we've updated, and a few shrubs and turbite. Uh, additional drawings for all those items. Okay. Did you say you do have a survey? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's filed with the town. Okay. Hard to copy. Thank you. Thanks. Do the next one, John. Do the next one. Here. Okay. Here.
And so you've added the fence, you've added the shrubs, you want to put a generator in. Okay. Anybody have any questions? No questions. Will anything? Um, no, but I would, if you go forward with an approval, I would make, although we submitted it, I'd make it part of the conditions so it's finalized in the drawing or the file for our final. Well, can't we just attach these sketches as, as yeah, but I would put that in, um, well, we need the, we need the zone in the file, we need the, de the detail you talked about. I'm sorry, about. say that again. We need the, did you submit the uh, pad detail? It's on the second page. Why not? No, we can fair. just make them as part of the condition and we'll get them into the. Okay. No questions? All right, we'll set. We're all set for now. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, next up, meeting minutes, March 1st, 2018. Michael, you are not here. <clears throat> so, the chair will entertain a motion from one of the seated members who's not Michael. Motion to approve the minutes. No, you're not seated. Oh. <clears throat> I make a motion that we approve the minutes of the March 1st meeting. Second. We have a motion, we have a second. Any, uh, any corrections or notations or anything? Call the roll. Wilk, yes. Formicella, yes. Miami, yes. Porter, yes. Michael, abstain. 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 Pending application deliberations determinations. Okay. You can remember way far back, we heard a request to put in the generator pad. Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember. We have a motion. Uh, motion to approve 27-86-S-82 file number 1071A uh, generator at the animal hospital. With conditions. With conditions. All right, we have a motion. We have a second. I second. Okay, discussion. I guess they didn't like having the power out for as long as they did the other day. <laughs> well, it makes it hard to run a business when you don't have power. Yeah. So our conditions that the, the applicant will install the fence as detailed in the handout he gave us tonight. Uh, we have a detail on the concrete pad, and there will be plantings as indicated on the sketch in front of the generator. That's everything, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Any further discussion? No. Call the roll. Wilk, yes. Former Kelly, yes. Miney, yes. Porter, yes. O'Reilly, yes. Nothing else for us to deliver it on, right? Well. <clears throat> okay. Item number 13, regulation review amendment work session. Um, we had a meeting last week. Well, we had a couple of different uh, issues with people coming in. One was to discuss some potential changes to the parking regulations. We're still working on that. And there was one about increasing the height restrictions in the I-3 zone. So we had some discussion with that, and uh, there should be a potentially a future application coming in. It's sitting on your desk. It's here for our April 5th meeting. <clears throat> and as of this moment, we don't have another meeting scheduled. Um, but we'll, we'll run by that when Leon is back. Okay. Correspondence, other received. I have a letter 
update from the ZEO. It's just an update on the 74 Enterprise Drive. He's made <clears throat> five different site visits. Um, the cleanup work is moving along to Joe's satisfaction. There's still some work that remains to be done, but um, it's moving in the right direction. So that's Joe's update. No other correspondence there. Um, still has a long way to go. Hmm? Still has a long way to go. Yes, but it's it, it, there's it's been better. some significant improvement. Item number 15, commission reports. Uh, the chairman report, I have nothing other than this uh, update from the ZEO. Any other commissioners have anything to report? No. No? Will, anything? No. There's nothing else. I call for a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion that we adjourn our meeting for March 22nd, 2018. Meeting adjourned at 7.54 p.m. Thank you.